fighting out of Manchester, England, Larone, the Miracle Murphy. I'm called the Miracle because I had a close shave earlier on in life and it's a miracle I'm here. I grew up in Manchester. It's a crazy place. Growing up in Manchester, especially around where we're from, it's, you know, it's tough. The time that we grew up, there was a lot of gangs. There was a lot of gang culture. Lerone was one of the street kids at the time. You know, he was just like any of the other younger ones from around our way. He was just on the streets doing his thing. It's more than easy to fall into that lifestyle because it's everything you hear, even on the radios, about people respect these guys in it. So a lot of the kids growing up, they're thinking, how do I get respected? Like, how do I get to people to like me? So it's easy to fall into that. From our perspective, it's always been about competition. It's always been trying to be the best, trying to be the strongest, trying to be the boy in your area and trying to be the one that everyone's always talking about. Young boys, you know, trying to be better than each other and it unfortunately ended up in Lerone being shot. <laughs> I was shot in the face coming out of a barber's. So I was shot in the side of the face, yeah, like straight through the mouth. The bullet lodged in my mouth and ended up having to spit it out. My mouth felt heavy and I just, I, obviously I just thought it was blood or something, but like, I seen the bullets on the floor. After that situation happened, Lerone learned. He was aware that, you know, this situation, it could have ended up in him, him being dead. I had two options there and then come down this path or go down that path. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Contact Contender 7. I didn't really know about mixed martial arts at, at that stage. I went to Kane's Fire FCC, and that was the first fight, MMA fight I seen live. The roof just blew off the Reebok. Half the arena is here to see Kane Musa tonight. Lerone and all, all of his friends and all the younger ones from around my area, they, they came out and, yeah, we, we got the job done and it was electric, man. Neil Hall taking a look at this very carefully. Gay Musa gets the TKO win! It was one of the moments where I can see us looking from the outside, from Lerone's perspective, it would be something that you'd say, well, I, I want to get a piece of this. Everyone was going mad and from there, I wanted to fight it did spur him to get in the gym and come and start chasing his dreams. First day in the gym, I liked it because everyone was just equal in there. Like, it didn't matter who was outside of the gym or whatever, everyone was equal on the mat. Jogging back, everybody. Let's have good quality to work, pride in what we're doing. You got to train hard, you can get better, you can grow every day. Everyone respects MMA fighters, and I just wanted to be the best. Play, lower your head level. One, two. Good. I believe, by virtue of what he went through, being shot, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> dealing with the after effects of it, I believe that that made him as a person. I think from the moment he walked into the sport, he took a, a different outlook on it. He kind of invested all his energies into it, became everything that he did from a person who was distracted, had a lot of things going on outside the sport, some positive, a lot negative, and then he just channeled all his energies into MMA and just went all in. Time. Leron Murphy! He has the X Factor. He's just so cold, so chilled in there, and he just sees a lot. He sees things a little bit sharper and a, with a little bit more clarity. Leron Murphy unleashing with the body shots. One, two, three, and it's all over. And he can really punch with both hands. He has a lot of power. He's just a, a built to be an athlete. Oh, Leron Murphy catches him with a big right hand. Ganius head is bounced off the canvas. Every single shot from Leron. Oh, and there we go. And Murphy knocks him out. I just knew that his ceiling was a little bit different to everybody else's, so I knew that I had to get his star out there. I woke up in the morning and I just got a message off Sean Shelby who just said, Zubera Tsukhov, uh, the date, Abu Dhabi, it was like three weeks' time. Can you do it? Yeah, let's go. 
I got the call from my coach. He's saying I had a fight in three and a half weeks. And I just thought, I'd take it. This is my chance. And I just knew, like, this is my time to shine and change my life. This is Manchester. Here we go, here we go, Manchester. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a huge matchup for him to face somebody like Tuka Hugov. I mean, if, as his debut, this is a huge opportunity for him. Everyone was just saying, this guy's a beast. He's going he's gonna to murder him. Oh, oh, he gets clipped with the jab, and he's oh, hurt. Big right hand. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Late sub attempt from Murphy. Big Kimura. I always knew myself that I can beat him, and I always knew that it won't be an easy fight for him, no matter how good he was. Nice uppercut lands. Circle your hands inside. There, nice right hand lands behind the double jab. These guys are scrapping now. First fight was a draw. It felt like a loss to me, because it wouldn't win. This fight is declared a split. Draw! Imagine you're going to your second fight and you got a draw and you still not got a win, so just gave me more fire. Representing Manchester, England, Michael, here is Lerone Murphy's second UFC appearance for him. Very confident coming into this one. This kid's a real problem at 145. Ooh. Yeah, Manila, straight now. Straight, strike if the exit's there. Big shot. Big shot. Oh, beautiful grab, but he's got to be out. Oh, my God. Right hand splits the Heavy guard. shot. That's it. That's oh, it. Murphy. Wow. Still on the field. First win in the Octagon, it was amazing. It was like a big, big weight I've lifted off my shoulders. It was literally the best feeling I've ever felt. Prove to the world that I'm not just your average fighter and I'm not just going to be in and out. I'm like, I'm, I'm here to challenge. It's simple as that. Very young, he got into some trouble, and he's still here fighting now, making the good choices, got into fighting, it saved his life like it's done for so many MMA fighters, and now he's out there doing his thing. I feel like MMA saved me because I, I, like, I've got something to aim for now, I'm doing something in my life, whereas if I didn't, I could be in jail, could be dead, could be like, who knows? To turn your life around from that to this, just shows people that it's never too late to turn your life around and do something good. Just such a natural athlete. Find something that you love and just go for it. Perfect!